Ryan, welcome to Adelaide. Thank you very much. Very nice to be here. First impression? Um, fantastic. Obviously, a bit of rain today, which is unexpected. But you know, to come down to the ground with the emotion that's running around at this stage, and also to see the stadium is uh, it's, it's it's quite touching. First time you've been here to Adelaide Oval, is it? First time I've been in Adelaide, so yeah, and then first time down at the cricket ground as well. Fantastic. What did you know about the place before you got here then? Um, not too much. I mean, obviously uh, an iconic ground uh, in, in its old state and, and I've obviously been watching the renovation over the last few years, uh, the, the match on, on the big bash channel and stuff like that. Um, and then other, otherwise, Owen Morgan's girlfriend lives here, so he's told me a little bit about the city. Um, but, you know, I, I guess I've got to find out for myself what it's all about. Ryan Tendiscata comes to the crease now with Essex, uh, 46 for three. Now that's a big shot, that is. That is an absolutely enormous hit from Ryan Tendiscata, and if he's in the mood, not have got problems. Did T20 come along at a good time for you then? Oh, I couldn't have come at a better time. Uh, I think the first 2020 game was in my first professional season uh, for Essex, so you know that, that's obviously very fortunate, the type of player I am. Uh, you know, it it's obviously suits me to, to play that format and predominantly to play one-day cricket. Yeah, full credit to whoever invented that for you then. Yeah, look, there's there's loads of guys like myself. Uh, I think Kyron's exactly the same. You know, um, we can play all forms, but but like you said, you know, the, this specific format is suited to the way we play cricket. And it's gone a long way into the crowd. What a really good shot that is, because that was a slower ball and significantly slower as well. Maybe that's why Tendulkar had time just to wait, wait, and then execute the shot. Looking to hit straight. Always a good ploy. If you try to start to drag it across the line, you get into trouble. But oh, beauty! Absolute beauty! Just clipped off his legs, and he goes to 50. What a 50 for Ryan Tendiscard! A 53 from just 30. You've um, been out here once for a T20 comp in Australia before, but what are your impressions of um, T20 cricket in Australia at the moment? Because you haven't been here for a couple of years. It's, I would say, the toughest uh, competition of, of all the 2020 competitions. You know, maybe you could say the RPL in those conditions are obviously very tough. But I think, uh, as a, a, a core level of competitiveness, I think you, you'll find Australia is the toughest. Um, you know, you mentioned that I've been here before, and I, I had a pretty sorry time. But so, you know, for, for me, this is a lifeline, and uh, not that I have anything to prove, but uh, I feel like I want to come here and, and do well, just to you know, to be content to myself that. Uh, I can make it at this level, which is probably the only one that I haven't really uh, conquered, so to speak. And that will bring him into play. Or does it? No, it goes all the way. Great timing. Just a flick of the wrist from Tenderskarta. His second six. Being given not out on review. Hit away. Has it gone all the way? Yes, it has. Make that three sixes. Uh, I've watched a lot of Big Bash cricket over the last couple of years, you know, being based in New Zealand, it was always on, so I know the players from that, that point of view, you know, from, from watching across the screen. Um, I also know Sean Tate from when he played in Essex, which is quite nice, I'm looking forward to catching up with him, and actually had a nice long chat with Brad Hodge during the New Zealand comp. Um, and I've also touched base with, with Chuck in terms of what expected of me, yeah, and, you know, with Johan and, and Karen being here for the initial part, I'm going to be watching and helping out uh, initially, you know, waiting for my chance to play. And then when I do get a chance to play, uh, my role is pretty clear. You know, I'm going to bat in the middle order there with Hodgi and whoever else is around us and, and try my very best to win games for the strikers. Fuller, straighter, quicker, but the same result. This is a magnificent stroke. Straight down the ground, Tender Scarter now homing in on that hundred. And England will be getting a little twitchy. Tender Scar to get through to three figures here. As broad bowls, clipped away, found the man at short, fine leg. Oh, will he get an overthrow? He does! He might get five. What a way to bring up your first World Cup 100. It's the third in World Cups for a Netherlands batsman. The first for Ryan Tender Scar to his first, fourth in one-day internationals. And he's played quite brilliantly.